now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Now we're tracking another day where temperatures are going to be nearly 10 degrees above average, but there's going to be some instability around as a cold front will be sliding through, and that's going to give us a chance of a few isolated thunderstorms that's going to be pretty concentrated to one particular region. We'll get to that in just a few, but take a look at where the overnight lows go after that cold front slides through down to 48 degrees. For our frame of reference, numbers are going to fall to the mid 60s tonight, so it is going to be nearly 20 degrees cooler Thursday morning that we're tracking in the morning. So there will be a bit of a difference here and temperatures get into the upper 60s through the afternoon and we hang out in the 60s through Friday where we're looking at another chance of some afternoon showers to end out the work week. Here's a look at the risk for tomorrow and that's going to be concentrated to the southern half of the state. So most of our viewers we're just going to have the opportunity to see rain tomorrow. The chance for an isolated strong or severe thunderstorm producing some damaging wind, much like what we saw this evening, will push through that same region. So folks in portions of Talbot County, we're going to be watching you closely. Here's that front sliding through the 7 o'clock hour, bringing some showers to western Maryland. That's going to shift towards the east, and I do expect some isolated showers late morning, early afternoon. And then as we head into the second half of the afternoon, Watching the southern half of the state to see what fires up as some of these thunderstorms tap into the instability in the atmosphere heading into the afternoon. And then we're clearing out with northwesterly flow taking hold, and that's what's going to be the bringer of those colder numbers. Mid to upper 60s for the drive to work, light showers, nothing that's going to be too overwhelming. Heading into the afternoon, we're in the mid 70s. Uh, that's going to be perfect for uh, Cinco de Mayo, but rain chances will be exiting uh, early afternoon for folks in the city. So if you're looking to step out and celebrate, that's going to be the best time. Even some dry time heading into the evening, but the numbers will be cooling into the mid 50s. And we're going to start off the day a little bit cooler for your Thursday. Upper 40s in the city, but mid 40s in the northern half of the state. Lots of sunshine with a few high clouds rolling in as it head into the afternoon, lower 60s and notice we stay in the 60s through the day, so it will not be as unseasonably warm as the last few days with those numbers once again cooling back down heading into the evening hours. And that's going to set the stage for Friday, which is still going to remain below average mid 60s, watching the chance of some pop up showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Looks like a low risk for severe weather there and then heading into Saturday. That is going to be the golden day of the weekend where there's an abundance of sunshine and temperatures that are going to climb into the upper 60s. Mother's Day starts off pretty fantastic fantastic with warmer numbers, but we're going to be looking at some showers popping up in the afternoon, late afternoon and early evening hours. So better to plan those activities for Mother's Day earlier in the day, cooler and breezy as we head towards your Tuesday.